in this envelope is just over $19 million. Train, train. What is this workout called? Uh, it's called getting stronger. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> happening right there. <laughs> myself that uh like this is a choice you know like man this sucks but it's also my choice mm. and 7:45 outside and no yuri no yuri where is yuri yuri no no, where is he? Okay, so no Yuri. We're gonna take a cab. Hello. Hey, can you go to just House and Broadway, please? Yeah, House and Broadway. Okay, so now we won't be late. Uh, we have a busy day today, and uh, I'm still looking for Adrian. If anyone has seen Adrian Vasquez, my vlogger, if you could please uh, call 911 um, or better send him to me uh, because he needs to start learning how to use an alarm clock because we start early. We start early. Look who it is. Look who it is. Did you skateboard here? I did. You skateboarded here? Dude, not the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Skate he skateboarded here from Queens, which is why he's late. Now I understand. It's not that he slept in, it's because he takes a fucking skateboard. Alright, so you ready to vlog today? Yes. Let's go. Right. You ready let's to make it. some magic? Let's go, let's go make some magic. Yeah, okay. <coughs> you gonna live? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. In this envelope is just over nineteen million dollars. Uh, in checks. I can show you actually. So this is $19 million in closing checks from last year. Our gross commission income for my team, myself and my team, was just over $19 million, which seems like a lot of money. Uh, and I'm going to do something with these checks today. I found an artist, Kristen Simmons, who I've been friends with for a long time. In 2017, uh, and just over $838 million, and our gross commission was just over $22 million. And I took all those checks from the year because I saved them all and we turned it into a piece of art that I hang in my office. But I thought going into last year, we'd at least do 10 to 20% more. And instead, because the market changed and a lot of things happened last year, we ended up doing less. And that's the first time in my entire career we ever sold less than the year before. And last year we sold just over 700 million. I think the actual number is something like 721 million and, and something. But sold plus in contract was over 1.36 billion, which without the year before is awesome. Relatively speaking, it's still great, you know, but it's still $138 million less. Everyone made less money, we had less sales, and our numbers are lower. And instead of being totally upset, which I am, we're gonna take this, I'm gonna make it into another piece of art. How much check for you? $19 million, give or take. A few hundred thousand. Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? Come good on to see you. In. Good to see you too. This is Adrian. This is hey. Vlog. We've actually met. We totally met. I'm, I'm good with faces. So much art in here. I love it. There's a lot of art everywhere. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, where do you want to talk? Just right here? We can sit down. You want to sit down maybe? Yeah, sure. Okay, Let's cool. sit down. Okay, so um, last year we took all the closing checks, which was the first time I ever did that. Yes. Right? And gave them to you and you turned it into that awesome piece of art that says, yeah, if you want a normal life, get a normal job. Yeah, exactly. So I want to do something different this year. Yep. So these are the checks from this past year. Um, awesome. Yeah, it is less than the year before, unfortunately. 
2018 was different, that, and that's okay. We're going to use that to play into the piece, obviously. Thanks for making me feel better. <laughs> um, and so, I don't know, I just want to brainstorm kind of what it's going to be. Because I also want it to be, I think I want it to be fun, but I also want it to be somewhat motivating. Like, how do you stay strong in down markets? Like, how is it okay to have a bad year or a bad day? Like, that's, I want to figure out what to do that way. Right. I really liked what you wrote in your book about, um, can I curse on here? Or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. About, and about, she read the book. I did, I did read the book. I have it. Actually, hold on. Let, 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 me, yes. let me show you right now. Let me oh, yes. Right now. Yes. Yeah. yes. Good. I, I Good love, plug. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's got like, look at those little, little things. about like, oh, maybe we could do a piece on this. And oh, actually, I haven't done this exercise. That's it awesome. Me as a business person. I love it. a different line of business, obviously, that I'm No, but you're still selling. You're selling art, right? I am. I'm sell yeah, I'm se I know I'm selling art. It's doing great. And, and last year was a really good year, too. But it's it's uh, it's really volatile. Yeah. And, it and it lags with the market, too. So. And Kristen and I actually, we met um, when she worked at a company called uh, IF Studio. Yeah, IF yeah. Studio. And she did kind of our graphic marketing campaign for a building we did called 100 Avenue A. And we took models and we painted them with the address and then we took other models and we painted them into the background of the location of the East Village to kind of show that the East Village is the people, the people are the East Village. So show some of that real quick. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, it was great. Um, it was and then great. she was like, I'm such a good artist, I'm gonna do this full time. And so here we are. Yes, exactly, here we are and it's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, well, so I, you know, I was thinking about a couple of ideas and I really liked the whole get fucked concept and when you said in the book that being in real estate is kind of like riding a roller coaster blindfolded yes. because you just don't know when it's going to be up, when it's going to be down. I would really like to illustrate a roller coaster okay. um, kind of in a cartoon Lichtenstein-esque way and have you... So not just like taking all the checks and doing the, the words on top like we did last time. Right, no. So we'll take all the checks and that'll be in the background, maybe. It's still going to be the background of the okay. piece. And we're going to make sure that we, you know, we show different ones in whichever way you want to have, sure. have them displayed. But I'd like to then paint a roller coaster and have you on it. And maybe, you know, there's some people also behind it in the cars and you could be sure. blindfolded. Okay. And little thought bubbles and it could say, get fucked. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Or FC. F K D. F K D. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Which. Yeah. Finder, keeper, doer. Right. Exactly. So there's the there'll be that hitting doer. meaning for everyone who knows my life or knows the book. Exactly. Got and it. then also it's a conversation piece for anyone who sees it and they say, well, what does that really mean? And right. Why is it a roller coaster? Yeah, yeah. And It's a way to talk about your philosophy at least sure. to your business approach. Wow, you know me so well. Uh, <laughs> that sounds awesome. That sounds cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's all right. So let's do it. All right. Well, cool. I'll get out of your right, hair. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. It's going to be awesome. Great. Where's Yuri? It's like a non-stop thing. I want to make it super clear that it's not about the money to me, you know, and it's never been about the money. It's, it's about the game more than anything. It's about the game and it's about the win. It's about wins and it's about losses. And you're either going to win or you're going to lose. For me, there is no in-between. And last year was a loss. As great as last year was, as huge as last year was, as amazing as the numbers are, of which I am eternally grateful to even be in this position, but it was still a loss compared to the year before. So it's not about commissions being down three million bucks. It's not about selling $138 million less, right? It's about, we didn't win last year compared to the year before. And I didn't hit what we thought we were going to hit. And I always think back to my first day in this business and Lehman Brothers is filing for bankruptcy on CNBC. People are freaking out and I had no idea what I was doing. And I was just excited to take a rental client down the block in Koreatown and split up a room in half so that two people could share a studio apartment and maybe I'd make 300 bucks. And it wasn't about the money for me then either. It was just about the hunger. It was just about the fight. It was just about the game. And it was just about trying to win. And that's what it is for me now. And figuring out how to win and figuring out how to win going forward now that I'm in a different ballpark. And anyone who's in the same position, you know, think about too, five years ago, what were your stresses? What pissed you off? Like, what was a win to you five years ago? And then what was your wall five years ago? Like, how were you backed up against any type of wall five years ago? And now look at you. Like, where are you now? Are you in the same exact space? If so, why the f 
fuck are you there? And if you're not, have things changed? Did you graduate? Are you in a different job? Are you in a different relationship? Maybe your back is up against a wall too, but it's a totally different wall. Maybe it's a bigger wall. Maybe it's a better wall. What are your wins this year? You know, those are the things that I think about. Those are the things that the team thinks about. And that's why we're doing this art piece to remind myself that it's okay to have your back up against a wall, to remind myself that my wall was different in 2008 and 2009 when I first started. My wall at that time was I was gonna be completely broke and I was gonna have to move home and I was gonna have to say to goodbye to New York for the rest of my life. Now, my wall is a public failure. My wall is massive loss. My wall is losing compared to the year before because now I've set expectations and now they're super public. And that fuels me. I'm fueled by the win, not fueled by the money. Fuck the money. I'm here for the game. We have to go. Ryan the Lion. Ryan the Lion? You just call me Ryan the Lion? Whole time. Sit here on the audiobook. Show him that. Look at that. What's up? I just signed up for City Habitat. Oh, you did? Yeah. Awesome, man. Giving him my headshot today. Sweet. And, Welcome uh, to the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been listening to you, like, you know, for the past two weeks. Really? Yeah. How'd you like the book? Uh, the book is really good. This is my second time. Second time reading. That's fucking awesome. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You're going to start with rentals? Uh, yes. Yeah. I, my biggest piece of advice, honestly, is kind of like I put in the book, is just focus on the work, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to have terrible months or terrible days. You're going to think you have a commission coming in and then it's going to totally evaporate. So just focus on the work. Do not focus on the money. Cool? Yeah. Thanks, thanks for saying hi. Thanks for listening. Alrighty. See you around. See ya. Where's Yuri? Where is he? Actually, do you remember that Matthew McConaughey speech? Do you remember that one from the, uh, the Academy Awards when he won for Dallas Buyers Club? I cried. You cried? Yeah. Show him crying right now. No, he's not crying. He's not, Joe, Joe has no emotion. Everyone gave him shit because they were like, dude, you just won an Academy Award. You got up on stage and you said that, thank you everybody, but really thank you to myself in the future, right? And I honestly, I looked at that and I was like, that is, that's awesome. I don't know if I would give that same speech if I won an Academy Award, but at the same time, I think, it, I think it's ballsy and totally real to say that yourself in the future is who you look up to because that's the person you don't want to piss off, right? Like that's the person that once you get to meet him or her, you want them to be so awesome that holy shit, yes, that's why I looked up to you man, you were the person I wanted to be 10 years from now. And guess what? Now you are like, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a awesome idea. Um, and that's what it's about for me. So I know I'm going to have good years and I know I'm going to have bad years. And I just hope that my good years outweigh my bad, right? Just like, and just like a sports team, like I'm not going to win every single game. I'm not going to win every single championship, but I want the wins to outweigh the losses. And if I can do that, then I will succeed. You know? Vlog's over. That's it. Sorry. But you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. See, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.